What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. There was a young man in Calgary. Uh, his name is Cody. Cody. What can I say? Dangerous smart Alec. I mean, I crumpled him. Cody. When are you gonna stop playing games with God? You know what I love? Dude, I remember that, man. Yeah, what did like you it do was yesterday? to push his buttons like that, man? I just wasn't taking the Lord seriously. Yeah, clearly. That's what it was. <laughs> you know, I was playing, I was, I was playing games with God. And then? And, and then, I kind of deserved it, honestly. Yeah. I saw him coming. I saw him just winding up with this yeah. haymaker. Yep. And, and then, he just crumpled me. <laughs> bam! <laughs> he crumpled me. Link. I crumpled. <laughs> just reduced you to a pile of Legos. Yeah. Yep. Folded you up like a lawn chair. And I mean, he lent me, th- what did he say? He lent me to the Lord. He lent that man to the he Lord right there. He lent me to the Lord. And I learned my lesson that day. I love that. He sticks his finger up. Like he says, he goes, bam! And I, I, I lent over. He raises his finger like, now nah, I know what you're thinking, <laughs> but hold on. I know what you're thinking. But just, uh, I just assaulted this man. But just, totally illegal. But just wait. <laughs> it's not, it's, uh, why does he think that's okay? It's not legal to beat the shit up someone for like in god's name you can't do that like well, he thinks it's totally okay that he beat the shit out of a kid <laughs> in the name of god i still He's like, this man was playing games with the lord <laughs> oh well okay well in that case yeah 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 beat the shit out of him i still think it's mac from it's always sunny just in like a suit and yeah. makeup yeah. Like, I, I can't believe that that's a real dude that's a real pastor like he was totally he's just like yeah you know, this is, I did the right thing in this scenario. <laughs> this kid was pushing my buttons. Real smart kid. Smart yeah, Alex. Smart uh, Alex. Dangerous. dangerous. Made him a little bit more dangerous. Because <laughs> he's smarter he's so than me. so smart. You know, because he's smarter than me. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what, he, that's what he was doing. Yeah. He probably just challenged this guy's like, yeah, like something, like some Bible verse or something. He's like, actually, I don't think that's necessarily yeah. accurate. And the guy, the pastor's like, sorry. Um, well, ben? What was that? Ben? D- like, yeah, I just don't really agree. Like, I just think like, you know, certain... I just like my values are a little bit different, but like, yeah, I still respect Jesus and stuff like that. Bam! <laughs> Bam! Dude. I crumpled him. <laughs> or even, games. even better, the starts preaching better than him. <laughs> yeah. He goes, um, Pastor, I see your interpretation of that verse, but uh, I'm going to be honest. I think you got it wrong. Yeah. Here's why. Yeah. Uh, Matthew, when he came in. Physical into violence jo- is not the. <laughs> Bam! I crumpled him. <laughs> I fucking rolled that little piece of shit. I dropped him. Yeah, I dropped that bitch, that little bitch. I dropped him like he, the little bitch he was. He submits it to a world star comp. <laughs> it's like, like, just, yeah. It's fight compilation. Pastor lays out youth group child. Pastor decimates young boy's <laughs> chin. He also like didn't say... How old this kid was? Like, no. what if it was like a youth group? Like, you know what I mean? Like, sixteen like a year old, fourteen or sixteen year old kid, <laughs> eighth grader. Just this priest just lays him out, just fucking knees him in the brain. <sighs> Be like that old dude falling off the hoverboard. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> play that shit. Yeah, I mean, this is we got it. You know what we got to? I was thinking about like when we get the studio, when we move in. Oh, we can have video. Yeah, or or if we use my office, I might put a TV up. Yeah. Because we could use that and then we could film the screen and then edit the shit in. I mean. But like as we watch it and do like live reactions and shit like that. But th- that's what the Ding Ding Palace is for. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm going to do the same shit in mine. I know. But we got to have the dedicated space for the Ding Offs. I know. And the I cast. Know. Yeah. Listen, I know you don't like leaving your house. You're gradually becoming a hermit. I am. <laughs> Slowly but surely. <laughs> Cody is trying to have it so everything he's doing in his life is in the room next to him. Yeah. 
pretty much. <laughs> no, I'm just really stoked on this room. No, I feel it. You know what I mean? Now that I can just... And it's cool being... So basically what happened, Marcus moved out, right? He's in SF. He's doing his thing. He started a company. Um, we've talked about that already. Yeah. So I now am going to basically pay his rent <laughs> and use his room as an office. So I've already set up a little studio in there. And I'm going to put like a little podcasting tables. I got some mic stands. He got it. So when insanely chill, when I start fucking doing episodes again, which they are coming back, by the way, I'm getting Christine <laughs> Sedek, 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 Sedelko? Sedelko on it. I can't, I can never say her last name. Yeah. Sedelko. Yeah. And I'm getting uh, Felix Cartel, the musician is going to be on it pretty soon. Um, that is like, I don't know. I don't know. EDM stuff. Oh, it's good music. Word. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do that in that room. Word. I got some like colored LEDs and shit for my desk. I like I'm really doing it cliche. Yeah, just I'm pumped on it, dude. I'm pumped. That sounds cool. And it's cool because I can like work in there until like ten, you know, <clears throat> until Kelsey texts me and she's like, yeah, was, you know, <laughs> I'm lonely. And then I'm like, all right. <laughs> I think that's um. It doesn't happen. It's me. Yeah. Being lonely. Yeah. I I just I'm like all right. I I need attention. Yeah. You crawl you know back I mean? in the bed. I crawl back in there. Yeah. And she's like, I'm here. And I'm just like, can you fucking scratch my head, please? And she's like, God damn it. Tell me I'm amazing. This is all you, this is, this is all you need? <laughs> it's a head scratch? I mean, I think that's the thing, dude, is guys are easy <clears throat> as as far as, like, attention. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, men are just dogs. Just pat their head, rub the back. Yeah. That I, I honestly, I honestly think, I have, I've had serious thoughts yeah. about... My previous life that I was a dog. <laughs> I just connect with them, you know? Yeah, yeah. Which is weird because I'm allergic to them. Right. It doesn't really make any sense. Right. I mean, or maybe I, I'm just like, maybe I'm, you know, somewhere along the way, whoever reincarnated me, Buddha, whoever, whoever yeah. the fuck does that, he was like, you know, you were a dog. So now I'm going to try and get you out away from, you know what I mean? You can, you, you should experience life as something else. I like the So way I'm going to make you allergic to dogs so that you don't go near them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just have to cut you off and say, I like the way you said that whoever does the reincarnating, like there's just some guy in like another dimension when someone dies, he's like, oh, okay, where the fuck? He has to figure out where to put people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, All right. Yeah, well, he's, uh, he's the coordinator for everything. <laughs> he's like a, yeah, an air like traffic control guy. No, he gets like it's a, like a, it's like a food guy. order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a cat, like a, a soul and a body rolls in. He gets the thing. Okay, uh, Cody, 27. I don't fucking know. 27, previously a dog. Um, All right, let's, um, I don't know. I don't know. Make him come or something. Just put him in somebody's <laughs> balls. Come. We just got to put these guys in balls. So there's there's just too many people coming through here. Yeah, but here. what species balls? Uh, they, he just doesn't care at this point. He's been doing it for so long. He looks at it. He's like, oh. Put him some horse nuts. Who let's cares? See, wait, he's a podcaster. <laughs> All right, let's make him some shitty. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fuck. You know, is he a white guy who lives in L.A.? Uh, put podcaster? Him in a, put him in some cat like nuts. A, yeah. Put him in some cat cum. Yeah. <laughs> Which, hey, yeah. hey. Fully, fully deserved. Yeah. 100%. Because you're a... I'm not even going to go there. Look, man, let's talk about <clears throat> current events. Okay. Let's get current What's on the up? beef, the YouTube low gang Paul. Oh, God. Did you see the shit about him tasing animals? Yeah, I think, I think he needs to just double down and uh, start... Just he needs to double down, admit he likes dead things, and start an extermination company. <laughs> yeah, or taxidermy, <laughs> something Either like one, that. Yeah. yeah, he needs to double down. Just yeah, because at this point, it's not even like he. It does. It's not like he likes killing things. It likes. It's like he likes messing around with things that are already dead. Yeah, you know what I mean. And, and the thing is, he started with a. You know, usually people. He did it reverse. Yeah. Usually like, when you have, when you're like a... You have urges. Yeah, when you're like you a start crazy small. psychopath. Yeah, you start You small. start with the animals. And then go yeah. to humans. He started with the big game. He got the, yeah, he got the taste. Yeah. How much you want to bet Logan Paul gets into hunting in like next three years? <laughs> I guarantee you within the next three years, he will get into hunting. He's going to get sponsored by some fucking whatever. He's going to start taking trips crossbow, to Africa. Crossbow yeah, company. Crossbow, yeah. Crossbow, yeah. Yeah, yo, what up? I'm here with the archery fucking dot com. Yeah, and, yeah, and he's, yeah, gonna, and he's just, gonna start posting those pictures with like <laughs> just those dead. like beautiful lions like just that are dead, dead. And people are like, this is fucked up. And then yeah. there's other people that are like, no, it's actually well within his rights. The hunting <laughs> rules in this like there's overpopulation of lions, and you're like, I don't think that's right, dude. I think it's never okay to kill a lion. You know that chick? Who was that chick? Um, that girl that used to take pictures of like the big game. She used to take pictures like in. 
of her in front of like the big game that she had shot. I don't know. Jamie. And it was like elephants and like beautiful shit. Yeah, I remember the chick. I just don't remember her name. And it's like it's not illegal. And it's like yeah, but like it's kind of it's fucked. wrong. It's yeah. fucked up. Yeah, I mean, how can you feel okay killing something that I don't know? I don't know, but I I, I just think that you know Logan needs to start using the low gangers to you know kill do like animal extermination. Like imagine just. Five twelve-year-olds showing up to your place, being like, "Where did you have a squirrel problem?" And then Logang, or <laughs> Logan, I'm just gonna call, start calling Logan Logang. Yeah. Then Logang shows up, and he leads this little pack of kids to fucking tase and murder shit for the vlog. <laughs> That's a little dark. I mean, <laughs> little murder cult. Little murder cult. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, dude, he just needs to admit he likes dead stuff. It's just, it's just unreal. <laughs> like two days into his comeback, yeah, he's just like fucking ease into it, man. Like. <laughs> I like oh, I God get, damn it It's uh, He They make me so So fucking mad I see it They make me so mad I see it Nothing else makes me that mad Yeah Like I get mad at shit But like they They just make my fucking blood boil It's yeah. unreal how fucking stupid they are Yeah Oh and his like His little uh <laughs> His first The vlog back he, When he's like Oh uh, uh. <laughs> He says he's like Oh th- uh, You know I need you guys to buy all my merch because, because YouTube, YouTube cut my ad revenue. Thanks, and have, thanks YouTube. You, thanks YouTube. We punched no, in for that. YouTube didn't do that. <laughs> you did that. That was you. <laughs> you so clearly have learned nothing. Yeah. I also not a single fucking thing. You can't just make a stupid documentary about suicide and donate a million bucks and go yeah. back to. Yeah, I, that was my thing about the million bucks. Is I'm you're like, not cleared of this shit. No, like I think that was such a clear. Uh, demonstration of just being an idiot like it doesn't take a million dollars to say sorry yeah yeah <laughs> like, i know like just, you're supposed to think he's a good person because of roughly he's like i gave a million dollars to a million <laughs> who can do that like also uh one of the new vlogs he goes um we're still the fastest growing channel on youtube who can say that and then like people dug up like his like meta tags and he's like tagging like suicide forest and shit yeah yeah you didn't know that no way. <laughs> yeah, he's tagging that. He's like building off oh the controversy. Oh my god, what a piece of shit. Yeah, total piece of Logan, garbage. you're a piece of shit. Yeah. You honestly are, <laughs> dude. Like it's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. He's he said he's a piece uh, I mean, certified piece of garbage. You know what's funny is like he went on a college campus like trying to be like self-deprecating and he's like, I want to interview I, people. I, yeah. I just saw the thumbnail, but I didn't I watched like a minute of it and it was just, it was really funny because the first dude, he was like, he tried to be all, he's like, you heard of Logan Paul? And the guy's like, no. And then he's like, oh, well, he tries to play it off, but I think he's it like, hurt. Yeah, definitely. He's like, really? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I mean, the, the suicide thing? You suicide? haven't heard anything about that? <laughs> I mean, he was just on Good Morning America. You know. So, and you, you didn't catch that? He's you like, know. no, dude, I don't watch breakfast shows. <laughs> also, like, am I 50 years old? Also the weirdest place to interview someone for saying sorry on a suicide for us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like just a dead body. Moms watching that show. Like who what is what did he do? Yeah. What did he do? Oh yeah. God, honey, you won't believe what I saw today this morning on on uh Jimma. Good morning <laughs> Jim, America. Jimma. Jimma Kimma. Jimma, Jimma, Kimma. Yeah, j- <laughs> Jimma Kimma. Anything that sounds like Jimmy Kimmel. Anything close to Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. It, this uh, this young guy he just he filmed the dead guy. Can you believe? But he that? seemed like a nice kid. <laughs> oh, fuck. He apologized. Good guy. He didn't we all make mistakes? I mean, on one hand, I understand like um like you know burning ants <laughs> with a magnifying glass. Yeah. And that whole thing. I don't know. Man. So what did he do? He tased a dead it was like rat. Like a dead rat. Like he hit it with a taser, and then he was like holding it up by the string. Like he was like, <laughs> you know. So I like, I, I just I didn't really uh. I just. It it he's so it's just so manipulative the way that he spoke to the people watching the video in the oh, first yeah. video. He goes, "You've missed so much." Yeah. He was like, "Oh man, so much has happened. You've missed so much." Yeah. That's fucked up. Yep. To make them to make the audience feel like they're it like they're missing something. Like it's their yeah. prerogative. The fact that they didn't see what happened for the no. This is all your fucking fault. Yep. And then he goes, "Oh, YouTube cut my shit in half." Like this is so clearly. Yep. A sociopath's way of looking at things like yeah. he's just he, he doesn't see yeah he's zero empathy zero whatever it's his other people's fault yeah. oh you've missed so much yeah you two cut my shit in half yeah yeah it's fucked up dude yeah. and all these kids are watching it like oh i have missed too much now i'm gonna watch every video you put out yeah because i've i've been missing out yeah 
Yeah, it's an interesting. It's my fault. It's an interesting thought. I it's even, fucked up. I didn't dude. even consider like kids would interpret it that way. Yeah, yeah. This is like super, super manipulative, super. Nihilist. And then he goes, "Yeah, kids, parents." Got, you know, on Good Morning America, he's like, "Parents need to be careful what their kids are watching." I don't make content for kids necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're just an oh, absolute li- lie again, lie yeah. again, Logan. You're just an, lie again, Logan. You're just a. I don't know if you're just like a villain or if you're just that dumb. Um, I don't know which one it is. I, I kind of hope you're just dumb, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I, I just think he's got, you know, did I say nihil? I meant narcissist. He's like super nar- narcissistic. Yeah. I don't know if he's quite sociopath yet for mm-hmm. me, but mm-hmm. definitely like hyper narcissism for yeah. sure. Man, I, I don't know. I, I, I go, I just look at that and I'm like, is he going to be like this in like five years? Probably because his dad's an idiot. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. macking little kids mm-hmm. and shit on video. And now he's like <laughs> trying to fight that dude. I don't even, I don't even oh. like talking about this shit. But oh it's yeah. Like yeah. You can't. The, like the boxing match with KSI. <laughs> yeah. I actually kind of like that. Cause if, uh, if one of the Pauls gets laid out, Oh, that's the thing <laughs> that would be the one that like, I think topples their brand a little yeah. bit Yeah, because they always put themselves in situations where they can't lose. Yeah. I mean, if they put the if they put their own dad up for a fight and he gets laid out, oh, people are gonna be like, "Dude, what? What yeah. even are your yeah. values?" Like, yeah, yeah. Well, dude, this, the, this guy's not gonna win a fight <laughs> against this dude who like boxes, yep, like a young kid. Like, nah, just it's just a young dude. You know, but what I'm he saying? like fights. I think like KSI. Yeah, I, I think so. Like I, was, I saw a clip of his fight with whatever the other guy was. It seemed like they were like doing real I mean, shit. I mean, I saw I saw a sparring video and uh, he dropped his training partner. Really? Like, fucking lay, like laid him out. Like that kid's got hands. So <laughs> if they're, if fucking senior. Like he, the dad's not going to win. If fucking daddy Paul gets dropped, that's the gift that they will never live down. Like I think they think they're beyond that. Yeah. But if every time you tweet, it's just a hundred gif replies of like, hey, this is your dad getting <laughs> fucked because of you. Crumpled the kid. Bam. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> hey, this is your dad playing games with God. <laughs> K- Bam! KSI lent that man to the Lord right there. <laughs> Pushing his buttons a little bit. Dude, that is like YouTube is becoming WWF. Yeah. If, the, if this becomes, good. If this becomes a trend of YouTubers just fighting, this will be funny as fuck, man. Yeah. But they have to actually fight. Can't be no goofy shit. Can't be no rice gum shit. It's got to be real real brawls that i mean that last fight was real right yeah it was real what even was that um i just saw like a brief thing and i was like there's like a they did it in like a stadium there's a whole fucking audience i was like ksi i think who organized that shit i i don't know i think i think the other dude was an actual boxer no he's a youtuber no they were both youtubers okay well whatever i think i thought the other kid was like an amateur boxer and they just did it to do it Hmm. and then bam either way I mean, I'm massively uninformed on what the fuck that like that side of things goes on. I just know that yeah, the Paul brothers were like, "Fight our dad for 50k." Yeah, right, bro. He would leap at the chance to just body that old man. I know. Well, he said no. He was like, "No, I'm not gonna fight your dad." Like, oh, it's yeah. Fucking weird. Yep. It's so stupid. I mean, and also, what a fucking uh, what a cop out. I know. Oh, dude, if you're really about it, fight our dad. No, what? I'm not gonna drop your dude. You know what? Oh my god. I, just, I hate those guys, man. <laughs> look, look up fucking Randy Couture. That guy was like an awesome. Yeah, he was on Ultimate Fighter. Yeah, I used to watch that show. The first time I ever came to LA with my family. Yeah, I saw Chuck Liddell in a Starbucks, and I was like so starstruck. Shitting yourself, yeah. Because I used to watch that reality show. Yeah, and I was like, first of all, he is like three times as big in person. Yep, yep. You know the camera, the, the camera shit. You yep. know the camera adds Ten whatever. Pounds. It doesn't do it enough for Chuck. It Liddell. takes away size from that man. I was like. <laughs> I thought he was my size. At that time, no. I was like five foot four. I was yep. like, "Oh, this guy's like probably similar to me." Yep. No, he's like Huge. he's like I think nine and a half feet tall, <laughs> six hundred pounds, six hundred, yeah, yeah, something like that, six seven hundred. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's fought like fucking Superman. Yeah, he's fucking. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's... Yeah. Speaking though, wait, what were you gonna say? I interrupted you. Um, I don't know. I I just I, whatever. Speaking I'm of brain dead. Um the bad side of YouTube and then switching to the good side. I think yeah. we should hit on the good side a little bit. I can't stop thinking about <laughs> my bro, my bro, Mark Weens, <laughs> Mark Queens, my boy, this dude, Mark Weens. There's a, there's a, we have this video playing on the TV right in front of us. Yeah. And it's paused. Yeah. This is an amateur eater. Yep. 
we talked about this guy in the live podcast, yeah, right? I brought him up. Yeah. So yeah. if you want to go, that's on their Patreon. If you want to watch that show we did. Yeah. And we talked about this guy named Mark Weens. He's an amateur eater. It's It creeps me out because he doesn't blink. He just... Dude, if you guys could see this fucking still frame right here. I mean, to to the guy's credit, I mean, he, he, he is entertaining. I watch his videos like start to finish and I'm entertained all the way through, whether intentional or not. There's you just... Watch- he this is twenty minute video. I mean, I'm about not, in and out. I'm not glued, but it's like I definitely like I'm paying attention. But I'll be on my phone. In and out shit. is a four minute experience max <laughs> yeah. for everyone. Now, do you know how I eat in and out? I just go to the drive through and just <sighs> inhale that burger. So I just by the time I get home, I can do whatever it was I was doing previous. Yeah, <laughs> I go to the drive through. I walk. Yeah, through the drive through. Eat it and and. I pay for it and then they bring it over and I say just put it in, in my, my face. face. So I don't even have to touch it. Yeah. It's unreal. No juice, nothing on the fingers. They just jam it in. They stuff it too. They use both hands and yeah. I'm like, just go, just jam it in there. <laughs> and it's, I mean, it's like, you know, not the most pleasant experience for them. They're screaming. Right. Right. And I'm like, I'm like, it. just put it in. <laughs> just jam it in there. And there's, there's crying and screaming. But then once they get it in, Swallow one whole thing and then I can just one Damn. one swallow. I can just go home and do whatever the fuck. You're good at the one swallows. That's what I'm yeah. <laughs> Good one. Got him. Good one, dude. <laughs> Woo! You're roasted, god damn it. How many bananas do you think you could swallow? <laughs> what kind of a fucking question is that? You know you gotta answer, that's how I know you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I'm not gay, dude. <laughs> I asked you that question and you went three. Wait, no. No, no, two, why two would and a half, ha- two and a half. I why, mean, why would you I ask know. me that? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just like, what if I just like knew the answer right away? <laughs> it's just two. two, two, two. You're like, you're pretty sure about that. Yeah, I don't, I totally tried. Yeah, two. yeah, it's two. If it's a plan, yeah. if they're plantains, four, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Boop. <laughs> what depends what size. If plant, for talking plantains, four, usually I can get four and a half. <laughs> Holy shit. So just shout out to Mark Weens. Shout out Mark. Yeah, speaking of, shout out Mark Weens. He, he kind of creeps me out a little bit, but I got to give him credit for making a living off eating in and out That's oh, dude. unreal that you could no, do his, that. No, his story is pretty, pretty fucking interesting. What is his I story? Mean, dude, just like he started a blog and like wanted to like travel and eat. Mm-hmm. So he would like make videos for YouTube, but um, he like just made a living just like writing blogs for people and writing whatever posts like oh i'm in fucking bali like do you want an article on food and they're like yeah sure and just like freelanced his way around like south asia and uh now he lives in a fucking five bedroom house in bangkok so oh they live in bangkok yeah he lives in bangkok oh yeah interesting yeah. so he hits a lot of interesting spots you know who i was fucking so way back when was this last year sometime i was at uh, a restaurant in West Hollywood sitting there. Oh, it was actually before we did stand up one time. Oh, word, I was okay. editing at Zinc. Oh, Zinc, yeah, yeah. And I might have told you about this. There's this family was sitting across from me having this super loud, obnoxious meeting with a MCN manager. Oh, boy. So he's talking about brand deals and they're talking so fucking loud <laughs> about like, uh, like engagement and just like the worst shit ever, the most LA shit of all time. Yeah. <laughs> Numbers and engagement and charts and subscribers, blah blah blah. I'm like, dude, I've, you know yeah. what I mean? I'm I'm just trying to enjoy my coffee here, <laughs> in a place. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this and they're really attractive, both sure. the parents, and they have this like like you know, really cute little girl. Okay. And so I'm like, oh, they must be like sort of a family channel. Yeah. I found them yesterday. <laughs> um, on of one, of the, one of their Instagrams, of course. One of their Instagrams was like on my explore page or whatever, and I yeah. went to it. They're fucking huge. Yeah, What's they're like Cole and Sav LeBrant. They're like getting millions and millions and millions of views. They the dude just bought a Lambo. Oh, sick. they live in this giant fucking house just yeah. from like vlogging their little baby. That's that's weird. That's so weird. I mean, you, I, I guess like respect the hustle for sure. Yeah, the family shit is just a little bit weird to me. I, mean, I just don't know what the dynamic is. I don't know. I mean, they, they probably look at us and think the same thing. Isn't these two guys talking about penises? Yeah. What's the... Yeah. That's like, 
That's why it's kind of YouTube is just weird in that way. YouTube has never been like a real job, even though it is. Oh yeah. The most real job for a lot of people. More, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If someone was like, like he posted this image of him in front of the Lambo, and it was like this giant fucking caption. Yeah. About like dreaming of this moment since he was a child, and like the meaning of success, and all this <sighs> stuff. And I'm like, dude, if this was a musician. I'd be taking this way more seriously. It's true. Yeah. But I, I was like, even though you own a Lambo, like this, I can't take this paragraph yeah. about success seriously when all you do is vlog your daughter, but it's just as much of a fucking art form as anything else. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. It's weird, I, right? I don't know. I, th I think it's the whole like, with a musician or whoever, like you know that their money was like, when a musician gets booked or when they make an album or when they sell a song, it's like people consumed their media. And I think the, the difference is like YouTube, it's just ad rev. So it's just like a thing putting money on you. And, and like it's like people view your content, they consume it the same way. But I think there's a difference in terms of like, I guess people, you, you kind of get what I'm saying? It's like you're not selling tickets to watch your videos. Yeah. But I think musicians and like comedians and you know, they, they're kind of selling tickets in a way, whether they're selling scripts or, you know, doing a tour or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what it is. It's like people just kind of look at online content creators as like, ah, it's just like ad money and brands like using you. Like you're just a fucking, you're just like a vessel for, you know, eyes and like no one really, yeah, just no one respects what you do. Yeah. It's weird in that way. I don't know. I feel like I'm making a stupid person. No, 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 no. I think that actually is a very valid point. It's, I also think like the only like, because I feel like especially with them, it, what it comes down to is like skills. Yeah. Specific skills. Yeah. Like developing skills that other people can't or won't or don't develop, right? Sure. So like with music, like that's obviously a very respectable skill to have if right. you can produce and if you can like generate songs that mass amount of people will listen to but yeah. like with youtube it's more all it is is growing an audience yeah you don't even have to be good at editing no you have to grow an audience which for some reason doesn't seem like that much more like that and it's also a weirder skill to acquire and then flex on the audience like yeah. this guy was like look at my they, they live in this gigantic house he bought a lambo he's posting pictures of this stuff he's like look at my success and it's like the people like viewing this are directly responsible like yeah. literally yeah down to like the me watching your videos that's the reason why you're successful yeah. you know what i mean yeah it's so weird to flex on the people that do that <laughs> isn't it yeah i think so yeah he's just like hey like that's why i think he's, sorry go ahead <laughs> it's just I'm just imagining that moment like uploading this shit like look what you losers got me yeah. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't I fucking yeah, cool? Yeah. Look at that. Look at see that car. Look at this. I tricked all of you into watching <laughs> videos all of me. I think, I think that's why people don't respect. Going about my day. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> Everyone. And you watched that. I tricked you into that shit. Now look what I'm buying. This is insane. <laughs> Everyone in entertainment is just tricking people into thinking. I think only there's probably only like actually five funny people ever. And everyone else is just like tricking their way. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm funny. Here, listen to this. <laughs> Penis laugh track. Yeah. <laughs> it's telling you when to laugh. You got it. It's that's telling this you podcast. That's what we, like, <laughs> that's what we got to do. One day, one day, we just got to like cash out. Yeah. All the Patreon money, buy a Lamborghini, and then write this giant post about how we tricked people into listening to dick jokes for right. months and months and months. Yeah. Also, you know the funny part that I love to think about whenever I see a picture of a Lambo is like, all right, that's a great picture. I want to see a picture of their face when they get the first receipt after the first <laughs> break know. job and oil change. You know how much it, ch it costs to change the fucking brakes on a Lambo? Yeah, as much as a Camry. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, yeah, I'm sure he'll be sitting there like, oh, wait a second. He's like, I could have bought a whole nother car for this shit. <sighs> okay, I couldn't even whistle right there, but just fucking, yeah. It, oh, man. And then, oh, and then the 100,000 mile change, like it just- How much is a Lambo? Um, easily quarter mil, if not quarter more. million. Okay, yeah. Well, let's let's look it up. So yeah, I guess that's like prizzy, uh, prizzy. prizzy? <laughs> that's not even a word at all. Prizzy, <laughs> prizzy. prizzy. <laughs> I guess that's like pretty attainable for someone with that amount of success on YouTube. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, it it, it is. Isn't like, it, shouldn't you be like buying shit for your daughter? <laughs> also, uh, okay. nah, maybe not. So I don't you, know. If you get an event a Ventador, it's four hundred k. But you know what's funny is like when you buy a Ferrari or something like that. Uh they 
they have to like they they reserve the right they can recall the car from you if you misrepresent the brand like when you buy the car you enter no way yeah they enter in a, like you wow. enter an agreement with them it's not like buying a camry it's like that's really interesting yeah like uh dead mouse he uh i think he had a ferrari and he like put like a nyan cat on it oh i remember that and then uh ferrari took it from him because they were like we don't want our cars looking that way so <laughs> we don't want our cars to have memes on them yeah that should be so lambo obvious try to take advantage by sending him a car and oh with a nyan yeah cat. Oh, nyan cat and yeah corny i'm buying a ferrari now because of that <laughs> <laughs> dude that's so corny i fucking want a lambo for some reason <laughs> i don't know lambo no, i'm saying i'm buying a ferrari because they, they took it back. Took it back yeah. because it had a nylon cat on it. Yeah. Oh, nylon cat. I don't even know what the fuck. I, it's it's such like a I don't know. I feel like <laughs> Lamborghinis specifically are like the uh, kids' dream of a of the of a car like mm-hmm. on steroids. Yeah. It's just like a grown man's Batman car. Yeah. Like I don't ever look at that and take a dude seriously. I just picture a kid standing next to you know. The inner voice in his head is like, oh, I had the Batmobile. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. don't think it's I agree. cool. Yeah, it's just like a Hot Wheels car blowing up, <laughs> or even like those fucking Charger Hellcats that are like neon green with 800 horsepower. Yeah, I mean, they're fucking fast and yeah. they're dope. I know, but I just still when that big ass dude on I know it's his just... fucking testosterone gets out of the car, he's like, look at my Hellcat. Yeah. Oh, that's the only voice I hear. In my cool car, yeah. and I buy a West Wheel with my yeah. all my down savings. I took a second mortgage <laughs> to get my cool car, and now when I pull up to the white, and I see a widow car that swell, a web the engine, boom, go boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Yeah, man, the one you see these pussy ass Civics driving around town, you know what I'm saying? And give them a little little taste, you know? <laughs> Drop the clutch. <laughs> they don't want it. It's just like what it is, is it's like every like 13 year old boys wet dream that they developed when they were first watching Fast and the Furious (laughs) I remember the moment I was sitting in the theater we had snuck into that movie because it was yeah whatever yeah M14 M for mature yeah no it was 14A is that a rating in Canada I think we have a rating 14A oh my god 14 uh, adult I think that is the most bitch rating 14A. I know. <laughs> it's like not quite restricted. It's like 14 year olds are fine, but 13 year olds, hell no. We say butt cheeks in this movie. Uh, you have to be in at least ninth grade to watch this film. <laughs> you need at least two pubes. <laughs> there are pube jokes in this film. You need more. You need at least two pubes. <laughs> you need to have There's more a pube pubes. limit. All right. Drop trout. Drop the trout. Let's, yeah, see. let's, let's see. see. Let's see the pubes. How many pubes you got? Um, it's a fucking senator. Only seeing one. <laughs> it's a senator looking at the no, kids. No, I got like an ass pube too. <laughs> All right, that's two. Get on in there. Get <laughs> get your pubes on in there, dude. Enjoy the movie. Two American senators with their phones out. Hold on, let me get a picture of those pubes. Let's make sure <laughs> these are good. I'm just gonna save these for later. What's your name, Timmy? Nice to meet. You. Just give Ew. you a quick lick. Okay, Ew. go on. Ew. Enjoy the film. <laughs> I know the first Fast and Furious. Pick any scene. I guarantee you I can quote something from it. Um, um, <clears throat> what about the one, I'm in your face. <laughs> Remember that fucking scene? <laughs> Bullshit, asshole. <laughs> from now on, you go <laughs> take yourself to fat, <laughs> fucking fat burger, get yourself a fat deal with f- fries for $4.99 or whatever. I, I'm, okay, I'm hey lying. Hey, man, he was in my face. I'm in your face. <laughs> I'm in your face. <laughs> you, ever seen, you ever seen the gif? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Vin, I'm in your face. He turns around and it's Vin, Vin Diesel's, Diesel's face. I'm in your face. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, when Paul Walker died, my homie texted me, rest in peace, Brian Spilner. My fucking heart broke. Wait, Brian Spilner, is that his name? That's his character in the film. I was like, bruh. No. 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 (laughs) Rose closed, pizza boy. Find another way home. (laughs) Goddamn street racers. (laughs) What about, okay, name, what about the scene? Oh, this might be in the second one. When When they're on the boats. Is that uh, the first one when they first meet Ludacris? No, it's definitely Too Fast, Too Furious. Oh, okay. Oh, Fuck. dude. That was, was a great scene, though. When he was pushing that R34. Pump, pump, pump it up. Remember that song? <laughs> yeah. Damn. No, that opening scene where Paul Walker comes up with the R34. Yeah. And he's just fucking purging the nitrous and sending girls skirts in there. <laughs> that was like every 12-year-old. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boom. Oh my oh. god, dude. That's so fucking sick. <laughs> I, dude, I, I told my uncle after watching that movie. That I wanted to soup up a car. Yeah, of I course. was like, I'm gonna buy like a Honda Accord or some shit, <laughs> and I'm gonna soup it up. That was like my goal. Let me tell you, it's not all. It's, all, it's not all. It's cracked up. To and be. you actually did it. Oh fuck yeah! You actually did it. Yeah, I mean, oh dude, what did you soup up? Um, 
I had a shitty 98 Prelude. It was a fifth gen. It was That's rare. what I wanted. Yeah. That's what I fucking wanted. I S- wanted a Prelude. Slammed it to the floor. Had a carbon fiber hood. Like oh, you fat Mugen fucking exhaust. Fucking loser. Oh, my God. You're a loser. Did it? Was it fast? No. It's such a heavy car. Yeah. But I did. It just was loud. That's it. Not even. It's like the motor is It's a bigger block for like, uh, it's, it's like one of the early two liters by okay. Honda. The RSX, though. The Type S, <coughs> that car's fucking, that motor is the shit. So you also had an RSX? No. My, okay. my buddy had an RSX okay. at the time. Um, d- dude. My dad used to have an NSX. That car is nice. It's awesome. Yeah. I love that fucking car. He didn't car. give that to you to soup up? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, now he sold it and bought a fucking Defender Land Rover, which was also cool, <laughs> but like really weird transition. Yeah, yeah very, very much a switch. And especially in the fucking winter in yeah. Canada. Yeah. Like I went from like listening to Led Zeppelin, full blast, beautiful stereo, like yeah. warm car to, to like driving basically through the fucking tundra. Burr, 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 yeah, yeah, burr, just burr. off-roading. Like it just was shitty. It didn't have a roof on it. It had, it had like a like, like a, a flat top, like a Yeah. shit, yeah. No, fa- like fabric or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't even a hard top. Bro, I want to go back to racing cars, racing shitty cars. So you used to street race? No, I mean <laughs> we used to like do poles on like random streets. He's like every time I go pull up no, to, like a hot girl. No, like, my car was so fucking slow. Burn her off slow. the fucking line, obviously. <laughs> 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 fucking, r- fucking just crush that shit, honey. Yeah, dude, she's playing games with God. I'm gonna burn her off the line. No, because where I live, like uh, a bunch of like suburban kids at my school, like they got they're like the rich kids, and mm-hmm. they they would all get like the small like uh, German cars that were turboed or like the Subarus. So if you had like a shitty Honda these kids would always just come down from the top of like the white people mountain and just like <laughs> boots. yo what kind of fucking car is that pussy boots. and like you can hear the turbo you're like I'm gonna get fucking rolled <laughs> light goes green they're just I oh, know that's not even that's more Honda fucking Subaru was like boots. oh right yeah, yeah I was gonna say that yeah. sounded like a Honda yeah yeah you really T- tuning cars is such a fucking I used to, like, when you go to a car meet, that is the biggest waste of time. It's just a bunch of dudes being like, yeah, I can't afford to make my car fast. Oh, me either, bro. What do you have on there? A what sticker. Is, wait, what is a car meet? It's when a bunch of people pull up with, like, their cars and just, like, I like cars, you like cars. It's like. God uh, damn, this is so foreign to it's me. It's like grinder for dudes with cars. <laughs> okay. okay. But dudes that are gay for their cars. Yeah, but don't want. No, yeah, it's like guys that don't want to fuck each other, but want to be friendly with each other and right. talk about cars. Okay. Yeah, it's it's like a it's like a celibate grinder. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Yeah, We're, makes sense. <laughs> Someone tagged us, and they were like, "There was an ad before the That's Cringe, the mm. one we just did, for an app called Gay Dorado." <laughs> what is that? It's like a gay dating app. They're like Gay Dorado. Gay Dorado. I thought that was the funniest fucking name. It's an awful name. Gay yeah. Dorado. Yeah, just not clever at all. At all. Definitely made by straight people. <laughs> yeah. Are right, we gonna make an app for gays? We're gonna call it Gay Dorado. Gay huh? Dorado. You know, City of Gold. That's great. Anyway, someone tagged us in that, and they were like, uh, "Maybe you guys need to get on." Anyway, back to car meets. Yeah, dude, the whole uh, car tuning world is <clears throat> super funny. Because you got guys working at fucking whatever their lame minimum wage job is, and they will spend, like, like overtime money buying rims. Yeah. And <laughs> I just feel like it's something you grow out of, like, every time. You should have, but they don't. You know what I mean? It's like the, it's like the next stage from Warhammer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> is rims. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, you age another... Like, I, I like, completely lost interest. Yeah. No, I mean, I still, like... Obviously, I have the same amount of, like, admiration for nice cars as any other guy our yeah. age, but it was like, I eventually, and I feel like most guys get to yeah. the point where it's like, all right, I don't need to put an yeah. exhaust. Yeah. I don't well, need a, I don't, I don't need a body kit on my car unless it's like a, <sighs> right? I mean, people don't put body kits on cars anymore. They don't. That's like a show thing. That was only like, that, like, when Fast and Furious came out, like, that was like a thing, you know, but it it was like a misunderstood People people don't do that. They lower them. No, like it, it depends. I mean, like if you have like an S two thousand, you might put like a hard top on it. Oh my you might God. put like you know certain body kits or like gotcha whatever. Okay. Cool. But people gotcha. don't. Just glad, put, I, <laughs> glad that I know that now. <laughs> no, dude, didn't need to fucking know that. I was at just all. gonna say you can tell how fast a dude's Subaru is by how hooked up his vape is. <laughs> yeah, the vape is a one to one of his car. <laughs> so if it's like kind of small, but like you know 
big like mouthpiece probably a civic with a big ass exhaust <laughs> now if he's holding like a fucking car, like a goddamn engine block yeah like a piece of the car yeah a piece of the <laughs> that's car that's what it looks like with a fucking spool on the end of it his shit has got a blow off valve when he smokes it then yeah you know is he's got an sti <laughs> it's running like 20 pounds it's ass fat dude he's got an sti yeah you know he's got an sti like a se- sexually tra- oh, oh probably also an sti like yeah. gonorrhea or something yeah. Yeah, no, he's got a UTI from coming on himself too much, <laughs> jerking off into his car. I just imagine that dude like, like getting his paycheck at the end of the week or whatever, and looking at it and like trying to figure out how much he's gonna put into his car <laughs> and how much he's gonna spend on vape juice. It's he's fucking, like, I don't know. I really want that fucking vanilla frap flavor of his e fucking, juice, his but ba- it's like it's twenty six bucks, <laughs> and. I don't know. There's like a really cool like vanity license plate holder <laughs> that I could buy for 26 bucks that says vape, <laughs> vape man. Vape me up. Vape boy. Vape boy. <laughs> Dude, his, his bank vape statement, boy. his bank statement breaks down. It's just like, like 40% vape, <laughs> yeah. 40% car. He uses like mint.com. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, it's just split. It's a pie graph <laughs> split in half. Vape and car. Vape, yeah, yeah. E-juice car. And then .01 bills food. <laughs> food. Dates. It, yeah. And and that's like, and he, he looks at his bank statement email in between all the ones from his landlord. Which yeah, is, yeah. Which is his mom. Yeah, exactly. Michael, you need to start paying <laughs> rent. <laughs> <laughs> like a hundred bucks just fuck, fuck off mom he's looking at the pie graph he's looking at that 0.1 percent and he's like how can i get that lower how can i get that lower <laughs> how can i spend more car i need more car or more vape yeah bro <laughs> dude vape boy vape, vape boy. man vape me up vape me up doggy yeah dog we gotta make that's what we're gonna make vanity license plate holders for the yeah, podcast vape, and say, me up. vape me up doggy <laughs> I've been, dude. My other car is an S two thousand. You, oof, that's fucking oof. That is oof right there. My other car is an S two thousand. Yo, I saw a Corvette the other day at the gym. The, sick, sick. No, yeah. Did you actually? <laughs> really, dude? That's fucking <laughs> awesome, dude. Every time we see a Corvette, Devin goes, "Yo, yo, check that shit out." <laughs> and I'm like, "Yo." You, you know what made this Corvette the best? What? He had three stickers on the back. It said, not leased, not financed. Uh, no way. Not something. It was basically like. <laughs> oh, you fucking idiot. Yeah, I bought oh this with God. cash. You bought a Corvette with cash. I was like, you, you sh- idiot. Do like, not <laughs> brag about that. I was that. like, should be leasing a Corvette. 100%. Because there's just, well, there's many ways to get a Corvette affordable. Yeah, I know. know. You can get one for That's like, what I'm saying. Corvettes are the dopest $12,000 sport <laughs> car you can buy. <laughs> Dude, you should be bragging about. Oh God, damn it! You see this right here? Fifty-five thousand dollars, not financed, not leased. Cold hard cash. cash. That's right. You are an asshole. Yep. (laughs) Took out a second mortgage on my. (laughs) Yep. That's where my cash came from. Apartment on my boat. Looking to sell my boat. Dude, you meet some. Boats are sick because you buy them for a shit ton of money. Boats and Corvettes (laughs) are similar, where you buy them. For a shit ton of money, and then you sell them for two hundred dollars. Yeah, two hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. No, dude. I mean, tuning cars. It depends where you live. Some some places is actually cool. Like Texas, there's no there's no laws out there, so you get a dude with a straight up like dragster, like a thousand horsepower, just like on the freeway, like in a That's Civic. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> just be like, just look over, like, <clears throat> what's up? Just downshift, and then you're in your fucking Corvette with a two hundred shot of NOS, and you're yeah. like, we fucking love cars. <laughs> Shipped it into seventh gear. Yeah, and then you crash and fuck each other. <laughs> You're in the air. In the air, yeah. Your Neither cars, of you are wearing seatbelts. <laughs> your secret. Fly through the windshield into each other and just fuck. Make out. Yeah. Like, dude, I fucking love your car. Me and my homie had a phrase called uh, dude pussy. <laughs> okay. Cars get you dude pussy. <laughs> cars do not get girls. Unless you pull up in an exotic and you go to a club. If you're yeah. at the fucking gas station, four yeah. guys walk over. Hey, man, what's your name? Yeah, yeah, I love that charger. Fucking sick car, brother. What a, yeah. Uh, what, a, what kind of, uh, <laughs> what kind of gas mileage are we talking on this thing? What do you got? Uh, can, you stop, you, just a, can you stop rubbing my lower back, yeah. please? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what's your name? It's just like. 
the, <laughs> massaging his shoulder yeah. as he. It's nice a sick car, bro. Yeah. What are we? What kind of HP are we talking on this thing? You know what? You're not bad at this. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Keep doing that. That's, that's great. Like, six six fifty. Stop yeah. it. That that part gets me. six fifty. I think I saw this one on Gatorado. <laughs> <laughs> I think the I've had. There are two comments that stand out in my mind when I own my Prelude. One, dude walks up to me. <laughs> he works at a gas station, just comes like out of the gas station with like a brisk pace. And he's like, yo, man, could I take some pictures of your car? And I'm like, yeah. Now, that's weird because Hondas get stolen a lot. Mm. So when he was doing it, he was already had the camera out. And I'm like, uh. So he was like taking pictures and he's like going all the way around my car. And I'm like, that's fucking strange. But nothing. My car never got stolen. Huh. Uh, number two, uh, I went somewhere, and this dude. I got in some conversation. Like he was like a cashier at something, and I'm like, "Oh, do you know my homie this?" And he's like, "Yeah. Oh, is that your prelude out there?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "Oh, bro, I definitely have a picture of that in my phone." And I'm like, "What the fuck? It's just such a weird thing to That's like weird to just bro sick." <laughs> Sends it to the homies. Yeah. Dude, look. He's got like a group called Carboys. <laughs> Carboys. <laughs> Yo, homies, I saw the sickest prelude. It's like every other guy sends pictures of hot girls, but like Carboys. Oh, bro. Bro. Thanks, thanks for sending me this. Yeah, someone sends a picture of like a hot girl. Wrong thread, Jared. Dude, get it out of here. Wrong thread. This is the car thread. <laughs> what are you doing? Vape me up. I six. swear to God, this is the last fucking time. <laughs> I'm gonna ban you. I'm gonna fucking ban you. You're gonna get the ban hammer if you send another picture of tits in the Carboys thread. <laughs> Pictures for preludes <laughs> and subs, STIs. Six subs, bro. Oh, I want a coffee? Damn it. <laughs> just pretend. I do that usually. In the podcast. I'll just, <laughs> I'm just trying to get like the <laughs> smell it and just get the taste, just the scent. Yeah, you know, man. Um, I'm, I apologize for railroading everyone with fucking car talk. It's just such a, it was a part, such a significant part of my life that sometimes. And how long were you a car boy? A little car boy? Yeah. Was I, was I a vape me up? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like definitely all through college. Definitely all through college. <laughs> definitely. So like, so like four years at least. <laughs> all right. But you know what, dude? You know what's but. a shitty point in time is when you have your rice rocket and then you're a grown man. Like you leave college. Yeah. Well, I mean, I graduated super late, but. Uh, so even worse when I dropped out of college <laughs> yeah. and then everyone I knew was graduating yeah. and then I would walk out to my car and I would start it up as a grown man and it's like, I'm like, like oh, oh my God. And then you're sorry. And you're driving to like real job interviews, like corporate buildings and your car <laughs> is just through all through the parking structure. <laughs> you pull you to like the, can't. You can't, can't get like, over the speed bump. Yeah, I just want to say you can't go over the speed bumps because it's too fucking low. So you're trying to get over the first one to the valet guy who's used to parking like Mercedes and Beamers, and you're like, "Up, oh, hold on, I gotta just get it over. I, I gotta profile the car." <laughs> <laughs> you bottom out on the shit. <laughs> Sparks so loud. And the guy's like, "God, oh, fucking Jesus. damn it, you're not getting this job." Yeah. And then the guy who's interviewing you just happens to walk. I was by. say the hiring manager is like right there, <laughs> just like he's like, "Hey, let me." You know what? Just go ahead and back I'm up. I'm going to save you some time. <laughs> You're not going to get the job. Probably not going to so, happen. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I went and got my Champagne Civic. I got, like, the fucking opposite. Oh, this one that you yeah, have? Yeah, oh, the dope. grandma car. So, you sold your Prelude. And got a grandma with. Did you sell it all souped up and everything? Yeah. Did you get, like, good money for it or no? Not really. Hmm. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to bring up. I actually put this in the chat the other day. I almost fucking wrecked that car. Really? It was, like, super scary. And it wasn't from driving. Um yeah, I know. How do so, you... So check this out. This is the dumbest thing that I've ever done okay. in life. Like, this is right above hand clit statement. Okay. Or maybe below it. I mean, that was bad. That was dumb as that hell. That was fucking bad. <laughs> that was bad. so dumb. I have nightmares about that. <laughs> oh, man. I, I can imagine everyone heard that and they were like, oof. <laughs> Yikes. They're like, this time... Cody was right. Yeah. The podcast should have ended. Yeah, it should have ended. Yeah. yeah, maybe no more. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> we're, we're changing my brakes... On an on my driveway at the time, and it's an incline. What one of us, probably me, like you're supposed to put the car in gear because obviously the, the shit's up, yeah. so the rear tires aren't so whatever. The car is out of gear for some reason. I start jacking up the car. There are no tires on the back, like whatever, like the drums, They're not drums, but so the car is in the air. I'm jacking it up by the tow hook. So you, if you can imagine, my prelude is like 
ass in the air and it's just on the front wheels and it's not in gear and we're on a fucking incline as i'm jacking the car up <laughs> it just sounds like i'm jacking off a car uh as i'm jacking him up yeah. the car starts rolling down the fucking driveway and it's like you know 2800 pound car so the car's rolling and i'm like sliding with it and i'm like holding the jack stand or not the jack stand with the jack like by the the pole <laughs> this is such a fucking yeah yeah this graphic yeah just sounds like dicks <laughs> just like just dicks yeah dicks are everywhere in this fucking conversation so the car sliding i'm and trying the, and the jack is throbbing throbbing this thing in is my hands throbbing with desire to fall down and it's like bouncing around on my lips so the car wants I, to release <laughs> it really wants to release but that's what's happening and i'm sliding with the car and i'm screaming i'm like oh fuck and my buddy's just standing on the side like oh fuck because his car is at the end of the driveway and oh, it's like i'm fuck. Yeah, so i'm like picking up some speed yeah. um my front bumper like like my car kind of goes at an angle and it like taps his wheel and his wheels were like they like protruded out a little bit mm. so it stopped it from hitting the car but then that impact i was able to like brace the jack and not have the car completely like fall because if I was even wrong just a little bit, the entire rear of the car would have just hit the pavement and I would have just slaughtered like the rear bumper, probably the, like the cat. It would have just fucked the car up like pretty fucking hard. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And I remember Damn. Doing, that was a moment where I'm like, I hate this. Like that was, I looked, that was a growing up moment. I'm yeah. Like, what am I? Coming of age moment right there. What am I doing? Yeah. Like this is Saturday in the afternoon. Everyone that I know is at the fucking beach and I'm here putting brakes on my car. People just pay other people to do this. <laughs> no one does this on their own accord. This is great. Yeah. That's a great story. That's yeah. a great coming of age moment right yeah, there. Yeah, right there. Why am I putting brakes on my own car? Yeah, this is fucking dumb. So I did it for like three more years yeah. and then finally <laughs> gave it up. <laughs> I had, I had, a, I had a, a moment similar to that. With Coke? I remember this. What? <laughs> so with Coke. With Coke? Yeah, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> Not with Coke. <laughs> um... I still do a ton of that. Yeah. No, okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> kidding, kidding. No cocaine use here. Cocaine. Um, I, no, I was, this was, this was like when I realized I need to be careful. Like, so the Warhammer moment was one of the ones where I was like, all right, I got to be careful with money. That was sure. when I was like seven years old or whatever. Yeah. Then it, I realized that I, I, I guess like the first steps in like embracing patience or something. Yeah. I might've told this story before, but like I, first job out of college, first like decently decent paying job yeah. out of college, right? A software engineer was working for this company and got my first paycheck, had some expendable income now. So I was like, I'm gonna buy a big TV and play video games again. Have I told this? Probably. No, no. not that I remember. So I bought a 60 inch TV. <laughs> Which I'm I sure lived, was fucking expensive at the time. I was 2012. So I mean, like probably the same. Uh, yeah, I was like, I mean, it was like a thousand bucks. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Spent a thousand bucks on a new TV. It's a lot for like a very first paycheck. Sure, yeah. My very first like big purchase ever. Thousand dollars <laughs> on a TV. Television. And I got it. I ordered it from Amazon. Probably it arrived, and I lived right beside my place. Or yeah. sorry, I worked right beside my apartment. Yeah. So I got the text that it had arrived at lunch, and I was like, oh, I'll just pop on over and see it real quick. Yep. And I popped over and. This thing is like 16 inch TV is like that. It's like yeah. not easy to fucking handle by yourself. So I pull the box inside and I'm like, oh, I really want to see it. I really oh want to see God. it, but I, I got to get back to work. I was like, I'll just fucking take the box off and put it on the TV stand. Nope. Right. I was like, I really should have someone help me do this because the TV's so big, but uh, fuck it. I'm, I want to do this. I want to see it right now. So I, <clears throat> I lift the box off of it and I turn around to put the box down and as I turn back around, the TV just starts to fall. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, fuck. And I drop the box and I go to try and save it. And it's too late. The TV lands right on my, the corner of my media stand and Good. shatters. Goodbye. The day that I fucking got, like I didn't even own it for, for five minutes <laughs> and shattered it. My first big ticket purchase <laughs> shattered it within five minutes of owning it. And I sat there and I was like, I'm such a fucking idiot. I knew I should have, and I was so stoked to get this goddamn TV because I was like, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna get back into Call of Duty. Oh my god, it's gonna god. be a big moment for me. <laughs> Shattered I'm, it, and and I'm imagining your face, just the jaw dropping, like, 
<gasps> I was like, this shit happens in TV shows. This doesn't happen in real life. <laughs> Five minutes of owning this TV and I destroy it. And so I'm like, I need to be more patient and I need to be careful. And yeah. like ever since then, I've been like more careful with like opening and just like waiting for shit. And I remember I was like, well, okay, I'll try and I'll try and lie. <laughs> Yeah. And try and get this replaced. It's showed up broken. So I called Fry's. I ordered it from Fry's. I called them and I was like, um, I was like, I, the TV showed up shattered. And they're like, all right, can you send us pictures? And I sent pictures and they were like, all right, we're going to have someone come out and inspect it. And I was like, all right. Uh-oh. Fuck. <laughs> it's pretty clear by looking at this dent that it's not a dent. It's not a shipping dent. This is a, this is a, a puncture in the screen. It's yeah. like clear that this was dropped. Yeah. And so the guy showed up in my house and I just like didn't answer the door. And I was like, I'm because I was too much of a pussy. But second of all, I was like, I need to I need to eat this cost to yeah. learn a lesson. Sure. I just should have done that before I made this guy come all the way out and <laughs> inspect it and not answer the fucking door. That was a dumbass move. But I was like, I, I just like, you know what? I'm not going to lie anymore. I'm just going to be honest with with myself yeah. and just eat this and buy another TV because yeah. I need to learn a fucking lesson yeah. and be more patient. So that's that's my story. Yeah. Wow. That's a that's a good one. Yeah. I'm trying to think of any other like coming of age experiences that I'm like car car was such the big one for me because my fuck half my personality was car. Yeah. When I got rid of that, and you just feel part of you die. Yeah. You're like, oh well I don't know who I am. Well what options I was I half prelude. I'm half prelude. I, I, I'm that's how that's I identify as half as a prelude. prelude. Yeah. Then I then I fill it up with a UFC. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll just that's your graph. Just, that's your life pie graph. It just car 50% and UFC. Prelude, fifty percent UFC. Yeah. And then eventually, like funny, came like one percent. Did it? I don't think that ever came. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> You. <laughs> I think it just became 100% UFC. Yeah, 100% UFC. Man, UFC's not the same. And I'm not even going to get in. Ooh, have you seen that fucking video of Mayweather trolling McGregor? No. Saying that like... There's a rematch, isn't there? No, no, no. He, oh. like, he like got in like a octagon and like filmed himself and he was like, 2018, Floyd Mayweather, uh, MMA. What are the odds, Patty? What are the odds? And I think Patty's just like a like reference for like an Irishman or something. Mm. It's like a slur. Mm. Could be wrong about that, but it like it's like showing like his little legs. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, <sighs> like everyone is replying to him like, please God, don't do it, don't fucking do it. Like Floyd is teasing that he's gonna fight Connor in the octagon. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah. oh Floyd was the one. Yeah, trolling. yeah Floyd oh, was the one trolling. Yeah, okay, not, not McGregor. He's gonna do MMA. No, he's not. There's no way. He's gonna get laid out. Oh, he'll, he'll get his legs chopped in half. Go look up Randy Couture versus James Tony. That was brutal. What What happens? He's a boxer, and he's okay. like, oh, I could do it, man. He went right to his back, like just didn't even know how to defend it. I want to search that right now. Yeah, look it up. How long have we been going for? We got like a little. Yeah, we got some time. Period here, where boy. I can fuck around on the phone. While he's doing that, I want to go ahead and say we got the official dates for the live show. So it's let's uh, not let's not talk about this until the ticket link is ready. Oh, true. Yeah. So, Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. You'll find out. But next week we're announcing it. So yeah, I just don't want to like blow it up before people can actually nah, like buy tickets. True, true, for true, it, true. So. Yeah, yeah. Because then oh, I, it's the third autocomplete. Yeah. Randy Couture versus James Tony. Yeah, let's go see. look this up, everybody. <laughs> oh God, is this one of those bad edit videos? America. So this guy was a boxer. Yeah. Okay, let's see what Very happens Very good boxer. Here. I mean, granted, they were old as shit when this fight happened, so it's not... When was this? Oh, wow. A little He's while ago. He's just straight to the ground. Yeah. How quick does he lose? Extremely fast. Like he... Oh, now he's just getting late. Oh! <laughs> Damn! Oh, he's punt right to the fucking head! Does he tap? Or what happens? Uh, oh, my God. He's just punching him in the fucking face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's fast! Holy shit! Yeah, yeah that oh, he was already he already lost. Yeah, is yeah. he a good boxer? Yeah, a great boxer. Hmm. I mean, his time. I mean, that was like towards the end of his career. So it's like, but even Randy Couture was old at that point too. <laughs> Randy Couture's retirement was so fucking, dude, just so boss. He took like a front kick to the face and lost a tooth, and then like afterward they were like, "So Randy, what are your plans?" He's like, "Hey, I think I'm done." <laughs> just so casual missing a two. Did he lose the fight? Yeah. No. Oh, definitely. But he man. was like definitely. Definitely. I can't hear the word definitely without that sketch now. Definitely. Definitely. Listen to how anyone says definitely. I know. They don't pronounce the T. <laughs> definitely. I love when people spell defiantly. Yeah. When they're trying to say definitely. Definitely. How, how do you fuck that up? 
I mean, defiantly. I am not even here to police anyone's grammar. I got the shittiest grammar. Uh, you yeah, ever read one of my tweets it. like recently? Not even... Probably not. No, I don't yeah. follow you. Yeah, you just muted me. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't even follow you. Oh well, and I have you muted. Oh well, okay. <laughs> and blocked. It's cool. <laughs> and just honestly, bro. Hey, that that doesn't mean you should unfollow me. I'm gonna go do it right now. Uh, I'm gonna go I don't. unfollow. Don't no follow Cody. Um, I want to actually here. You know what we can talk about to end the podcast? Yeah. Um, I there's this concept that I've been honing, I've been developing. Yeah. Called Noel time. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, oh, the, the way it, the way it goes, the way I can you know I have it summarized <laughs> right now is Noel time is this. It's when you say something is going to happen. Let's say, oh, we want to meet up, film a podcast, make some music, whatever. When you say 1 p.m. in Noel time, <laughs> that means, first of all, he's going to leave at 2. Yep. Second of all, he's going to hit you with a phone call or a text right before he leaves <laughs> saying, have you eaten? <laughs> to which you say, whatever, and he say, oh, I haven't, and I'm really hungry. <laughs> and then, so then you have to give 40 minutes of, 40 to 45 minutes of leeway to eat some weird Korean chicken and... <laughs> And rice. It's always chicken and rice. Chicken and rice. It's always baby. chicken and rice. And he's gonna eat it really slow. Yep. I'm make, standing make probably sure it's safe. So that, that by this point, so that now it's been an hour forty minutes. You eat it, which takes another yeah half an hour. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. And then so you actually end up getting in the studio at three at three. So no all time is usually about two hours. Yeah, I have my own time lag. zone. Yeah, I have my own time zone. Yeah. Yeah. Like I told you the other day, the Kanye quote. I'll be there in five minutes. Five hours later, I'll be there in five minutes. That's <laughs> that's me. I can't tell. Like I hate. I hate it. I hate. Well, no. I hate. I don't hate. I just hate. I just don't understand people being late. I don't understand <laughs> it. I, Although actually now I kind of do because I'm I'm late sometimes. Yeah. Because of Kelsey. Yeah. Well, here's my late. Here's my thing. I go. Yeah. Let's go one. And then I'm like, I can go to the gym. It's honestly, it's just the gym. I, and I gotta I gotta figure this out, man. Because mm-hmm. it's starting to. <laughs> I'm starting to be just a little bit of a rat in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, Are you a gym rat? A little bit. Not like I don't hang out there for a while, but it's like, it's getting to a point where I'm like, how much time do I have? Yeah, I can squeeze it in. Uh, I yeah. get in there and I'm, you know, just like, yeah, yeah, yeah this is yeah. awesome. But then inevitably you get hungry. Yeah. So it's like I come out, I'm hungry, then I'm hungry again, and I'm hungry again. Yeah. And it just consumes my life Yeah, you a little eat bit. now like a motherfucker. Yeah, I can't You've just stop. been putting down food. Yeah. So this shit happens when you start eating, your stomach fucking expands. Yeah. Same thing when you stop eating shrinks. <laughs> yeah, so how's that going? That's for kind you? of what I'm going through right now. <laughs> it's good, man. I really like it. Yeah, shrinking. Stomach? I like it when my stomach gets smaller. I, don't I actually it. noticed that shit. That it should like it's actually noticeable. Yeah. You start eating less. Yeah. You start requiring less, desiring less food. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about desiring, but yeah, actually not. for me, I always want food, but it's like you know your body doesn't like uh, demand yeah. it. I'm doing no fries 2018. Really? Zero. I Damn, could I could pull up to fast food and be like, let me get all protein. That's bold. They're like, sure, you don't want fries with that? And I'm like, bitch. Like, you sure? No. You sure? I'm good. You want zero fries? Zero. I'll sneak a couple fries in there for you if you want. Zero. Zero. I could put a, I could put a few in the bag. Nah, that's cool. Why don't you take oh, those? What's one fry? Put the. Why don't you put that one fry up your ass? I'm not gonna put it on my ass. I'm gonna put it in your bag. You can eat it. No. One fry. It's one no. fry. Well, it's one salty fry. That's so. good. Really? I'm okay. Salt on there? I'm okay. Come on, look at it. Yeah, yeah. Look at it. The salt glistening. I'm okay. I'm okay. Look at this. You can see it. The little little crystals, little crisp, little pleasure crystals on there. Look at that. Just one fry, perfectly cooked, perfectly crispy, perfectly soggy. Someone is like so hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> Being like, motherfucker, could you shut the goddamn? <laughs> no one has ever described fries as sexually as I just did. As as glistening. Just, you made it sound oh, like the fries had abs. Little pleasure sticks with little. Pleasure crystals Whoa, on little them. Pleasure little. stick. I'm using that one. Yeah. Yeah. That's fries. That doesn't doesn't refer to anything else. I'm gonna get a pair of boxers with pleasure sticks <laughs> on the front, <laughs> bro. That's like a magic stick. That's what I should have called it. Little that's, magic stick. That's like in Wedding Crashers when the dude says you want to play tummy sticks. Yeah, I know that shit. That is like one that of the most phrase. scarring fucking phrases. Tummy sticks. Yeah. No you one don't even know what it is. It just like leaves so much for the imagination to fucking decide. It's such an aggressive phrase to yeah, me. Yeah. I don't I don't think anyone ever wants to be told let's play tummy sticks. <laughs> no, no matter no girlfriend, no yeah, wife. Yep. Yeah. 
oh my god, you're a husband, and you just lean over to your wife. Hey, baby, let's play tummy sticks. Uh, Michael, mow the fucking lawn. <laughs> Thanks. How about, how about we play that game? Mow the fucking lawn. <laughs> then we can play tummy whatever. <laughs> hey, should we talk about um, fucking Kim or Kylie Jenner's baby? Stormy. Yes, yeah, Stormy. Stormy Scott, isn't it? Did you watch that video? It's, I watched the the one her her video yeah, to my child daughter. or whatever. Yeah, too pretty good, daughter. honestly. Dude, we're watching that in bed, and I the video ends, and Kelsey's bawling. Yeah, I was like, oh. I couldn't not laugh at the video. It was just something goofy about it to me. Really, I thought so, it was pretty well done. I mean, it it's, it definitely was goofy, but I thought like for what it was, her it's fr- like a goofy thing. Her friends just didn't. Like, I get they're trying to make it sentimental, but the way her friends were talking about it, I didn't feel sentiment or, like, emotion at all. <laughs> they're, just, they're like, on December or whatever, and they cut to her friend. Like, Kylie is, like, gonna, like, be a mom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's gonna, and, and, like, the best mom, too. The best mom ever. Yeah. She's really good. We, like, I feel like all they've done is probably get drunk together. Yeah. Like, yeah. If I if I know one thing about Kylie, man, she can fucking down Ciroc. So she's gonna be a great <laughs> mom. It just shows her perseverance. She always cleans up her own throw up. She's <laughs> such a good mom. She's so good at throwing up on herself and then cleaning it up. I just know she's gonna do well with a baby. Yeah. Yo, that's the one thing. Because babies do that. That's the one thing that freaks me out about a baby. Is like they just like puke. Yeah. Like they just <laughs> like you can just be holding them and they're cute. You're like, oh wow. <laughs> I yacked just in my directly into like just projectile, bro. I I yacked into my aunt's mouth when I was a baby. <laughs> she was like lying down with me. She's like, "Oh my god, I'm like no, Noel, so cute." <laughs> She's like, "Who is this <laughs> fucking demon child?" Why do babies just throw up? I, it's like their systems just aren't even. Yeah, it's like, well, I I don't need that right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a lever chilling. Yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> And I love a baby's expression when they ah. puke because there's just nothing. Yeah. Like there's just mouth is open. It's just like. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't even care. It's just like yeah. an automated thing. Yeah. <laughs> just purges. Well, yeah. I'm just going to get rid of this. Time to go. Ah. <laughs> it's always like. It would be so funny. if <laughs> It's so fucking funny, dude. If babies just like vomited like a broken hose. Just like. Yeah. Or a sprinkler. Ah. Yeah, a sprinkler. <laughs> Ah! Or just came out of like just one <laughs> cylinder of liquid, just oh. ah! <laughs> like the fucking fountains at Universal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or like the Bellagio. Yeah, just, <laughs> ah! <laughs> just watch out! Fuck! I was I was holding my homie's baby, and he was like, "Hey man, don't let him puke. Like he's gonna puke on you now because you're holding him. Like just because you're gonna. Because he know he just knew I'd be a bitch about it. Yeah. And when someone puts that idea in your head, you don't want to be like. Oh, get the baby out of my head. Because, like, that's fucking rude. Yeah. You know, women. You just drop it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I didn't <laughs> feel anything. It's weird, like, especially when you're holding your friend's kid. It's like, you're kind of like, yeah, go ahead, bro. Puke on me. Like, it's the homie. But if it was anyone else's baby and someone was like, yeah, he might puke. I'd be like, oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here is your ticket. <laughs> holding <laughs> it by the head. head. Just Here, have this back, please. I saw a fucking. Oh, God. <laughs> Turning it, <laughs> just, dude, just holding a baby by the head. Just there you go, bro. <laughs> yeah, just just hand, just hang. Like, what's just happening? Yeah. Do you want kids? Do I want kids? Yeah, just yeah eventually. Yeah, definitely. I, I don't know. Dude, definitely, definitely, definitely dude, want. Definitely kids want not. a couple of critters running around. <laughs> I'm, start, I'm start with a dog. Yeah. 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 Me too. Probably. Yeah. Eventually, you can put those. I am a dog, so yeah. Yeah, you definitely follow your nose. Yeah. Yeah. If you all want to know what it's like to be Cody's friend, he just follows his nose. Mm-hmm. Anything you don't want to eat, just leave it out. Yep. In his general vicinity. That's what I mean. I'll eat the scraps. He'll I'll sniff eat it out. Whatever <laughs> is left over. I'll just eat off the floor. I think you drop the, something. The funniest. It's going in my mouth. The funniest thing about that is this is your thing. You go, ooh, what is this? Grab. Can I have some? Bite. <laughs> I know. And, and, and sometimes up. I'll even go look at this as I'm <laughs> taking the food. Yeah, yeah, you go like hey. the ultimate dick move. Yeah, look, hey, like, look at me taking your food. Mm, look at mm, it. Watch mm. me eat this. It's not even mine. <laughs> That's how I won the gay for me challenge. I would just we oh, just oh 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 you haven't won. It's I mean it was sixty days and from that day. Well, 
I think. Yeah, okay, yes. Yeah. Yes, you might be right. But I think an official <laughs> extension. I fell off the wagon a little bit, okay? Now I'm back on it. Back on the wagon. And I'm in it. Yeah, you are. I mean, you are. Prop, yeah. Props, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. So let's extend it. Let's, let's give it a 30-day extension. <laughs> From now. From now. Fuck off. I, ha- I have to win. I just I need to win something here. Fuck you, bro. You got the fucking athlete dad. I'm, <laughs> uh, the most, the best I have is, is athlete grandpa. <laughs> what did your grandpa do? Oh, the motherfucker was just built. Really? Like just yeah, just built six, just six foot. Damn! Swam. Shout out to the built grandpas. Yeah, swam like eight miles a day for really? years. Just holy shit. Just crush it. Just crush a lake. That's like so in shape. Yeah, swimmer in shape is fucking in, in yeah. shape. Well, dude. <laughs> Uh, what kind of dude that's the manliest shit you get up at 6 a.m honey where are you going i'm gonna just go pound through this lake i'll be back yeah just in just in underwear yeah in like in like negative 30 degrees yeah, yeah. you know what i mean it's like one of those dudes that's just like mentally yeah has trained himself oh, to not super. feel cold yeah just doesn't give a shit yeah just frozen lake <laughs> just, i'm gonna go just conquer this lake every morning in Chicago through the winter. <laughs> he just comes out there with a fucking, just like a shovel and just puts a crack in. Yeah. <laughs> swims underwater, <laughs> under the lake. The whole thing. Like a fucking shark. Like a seal. <laughs> yeah. Then uppercuts through the other side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now back. <laughs> 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 then they go, oh, there's buff grandpa. There he goes again. Yeah. So that's the, that's the best I got. So Man, I, I need. That's pretty good. It pretty, is pretty fucking good. good to have a yeah buff grandpa yeah buff grandpa that swims frozen lakes I mean that's impressive <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> I gotta so. go man I need some fucking food yeah I could do that to speaking of well um, thanks for listening guys uh, yeah look out for the tour announcement look out for the tour week. announcement next week uh, new music on the way yes uh, we're working on three songs right now yep tres tres we're and trying we'll to get this, done trying to get this music video done but uh, you know things come up mm. wait when did we post the Elon fuck my wife uh oh shit! Is that after that the was last? Like last week? Yeah, that yeah. shit has a hundred thousand plays on on SoundCloud now. Yeah, over a hundred thousand plays. Comment if you're up for Cuck Step. We're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we're give, gonna, we're gonna give ourselves some accolades in the corner of the of. Cuck Step market. <laughs> we invented that shit. We invented Cuck Step, bro. Um, to everyone who is thoroughly turned on by the car talk, I uh, just want to say it's okay. It's okay to be half Honda and be turned on by mm-hmm. cars. It's all right. Mm-hmm. I'm not shaming you for that. Mm-hmm. What I am saying is you're 27 and maybe it's time to stop saying you're going to finish school at the community college and just maybe get a job. Yep. That's all I'm saying. 